Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to be doing a review for the OtterBox Commuter Series case for the iPhone 4. If you haven't already watched my unboxing video for this case, you can find a link to it in the more info below if you want to see what comes in the box. So I'm going to first start off by saying that this is probably the best case I've ever had for any of my electronic devices. So before I go into depth on it, I'm going to actually demonstrate uh, how you put it on. So here is my iPhone right here, and here is the case. It is a two-part case. One is silicone and one is a hard plastic. And what you do first is you take your iPhone and you slip it in top first with the silicone part, and then you put, work it on on the bottom like so. And you make sure that you push the flaps in for the ports on the top and on the bottom. And uh, you make sure that you have it aligned properly. And if you guys will notice right here, it has a cutout for the SIM card. So I'm going to come back to that later when I'm talking about the design. And then uh, how you put the hard plastic part on is you slip it on top first. You put it on like that. And then you kind of work it down while you're working the sides as well. And then you lift it up over the bottom and you push it over and then you just kind of pop it in and it should just fit into place. So now that I have it on, I'm going to go into depth into four different categories. Design, protection, durability, and pricing. The OtterBox has a really nice and slick design while still offering maximum protection. It has a small lip that goes over the front of the screen so it can offer a nice lay on the table design and you won't have to worry about your screen getting smashed if something happens to it or if uh, something falls on it. Your screen will stay intact. As I mentioned before, all of the ports are covered. The only things that are left uncovered are the speaker and the microphone located at the bottom, the silent toggle located on the left hand side, and also at the top where it covers the headphone jack port right there, it also leaves exposed the second microphone. But other than that, everything else is completely covered, including the SIM card tray. But if you want to get to the SIM card tray, all you have to do is just take off this hard plastic part. You don't have to take off the silicone part. It also has the word OtterBox written down there, really nice and discreet. I think it's pretty cool. The headphone jack port cover comes out really easily and nice. Uh, you don't even have to really worry about that one. However, for the bottom part, you cannot get this thing out, no matter how hard you try, unless you have nails. So how I have to do it is I have to get a kind of a sharp object and I have to push it in and pull it out. It's not going to be that big of a deal though because I'm only going to do that when I need to charge it or install something via iTunes so I don't really have to worry about it that much but if you're someone that's on the go you might want to take that into consideration. Another thing that could be a drawback is the fact of how slippery the back is. It just kind of rolls off uh, it's not a big deal for me though because I hold on to my iPhone tight. So the OtterBox earns a 4.5 out of 5 for design. As far as protection goes, this thing is amazing. Because it offers a dual case design with hard plastic and silicone, you're getting the most protection. out. Because if you're just using a hard shell case and you were to drop it, it would just transfer the impact to your phone. Whereas this way, it transfers the impact to the silicone and then the silicone absorbs it. So that way the impact never even reaches your phone. I'd be totally fine if I dropped my phone. However, I wouldn't just go around all the time dropping my phone. But I would feel safe knowing that the OtterBox is protecting my phone. And it also covers up all of the buttons, as I've mentioned before. So those will be fine. And another great benefit with this kind of hard plastic, it doesn't attract as much lint. The OtterBox earns a strong 5 out of 5 for protection. If you buy this OtterBox case, it's going to be a case that's going to last you a long time. Uh, nothing on this will break easily. As you can see, it, when I go like that, it barely even comes off. Uh, you won't have to worry about some cases have a really thin layer right here of silicone. And you don't have to worry about that tearing. Same goes for the top because it is reinforced with this hard plastic there. You will definitely get your money's worth if you buy this case. It is just outstanding for protection and durability and you can rest assured that this will last you a long time. The OtterBox earns another 5 out of 5 for durability. 
So you can buy this case on their website for $34.95 and it comes in four different colors, black on black, purple on white, red on black, and blue on white. This case is average as far as price goes, but when it's compared to other cases, uh, it is superior because cases typically range from about $30 to $40 for the iPhone 4 and this lays right in the middle and I know for a fact this case will protect my phone and I'd have no problem spending this money three times over if I knew I was going to get long lasting protection which I will from this case. So the OtterBox earns an easy 5 out of 5 for price. Overall, this case is amazing in every category, and it earns a 4.9 average score. So I definitely recommend buying this case, and a link to buy it will be in the more info. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below, and rate this video and subscribe. This is ICU, signing out.